Uh, for those that are familiar with configuring an ATAC uh, device, they can probably take it uh, after watching this video. Uh, I'll come back and try and do a part three uh, that shows this specific configuration on an Android. But what I had a chance to do right now is say, okay, in the previous video uh, where I was showing the Dragon OS running on a desktop, we configured our TAC server. Uh, we also got our uh, Flight View GUI, a particular fork, pulled in the latest that's just going to use the AirSpy R2 to do our ADSB. Uh, re, uh, yeah, basically uses the AirSpy ADSB and then feeds our TAR 1090. And now what we're going to do is grab from that TAR 1090 and send to our TAC server. So I should be able to show all of that uh, right here. Let me do, let me open new. Okay, so I've got this window open and you, you may wonder about the 10.0.0.3 address. Uh, I could just as easily go to the 192 address that you may remember in the previous video. But since then, I have a WireGuard server up and running on my network so that I can try and do this from outside when I get a chance uh, well, with my ATAC device. So that's why right now I'm just going to the 10.0.0.3. Let's throw an HTTPS in front of here. And 8443, which should get us to our... Yeah, okay, so HTTPS 10.0.0.3. This is getting us over to that same... Ah... Uh... I need I need to import unfortunately the uh, all right so let me see h uh, ssh dragon at and if you remember I st installed the open ssh uh, server to the tac server let's see so we need to go into Our TAC server folder, if you remember, TAC certs files. And for right now, uh, because I could SCP these files over and stuff, I'm just going to do a Python 3m ttp dot server. Oops. Uh, and I want to grab that admin p12. So I've got the admin p12 downloaded. If you remember, settings, privacy, privacy and security, view certificates. This, uh, we go to your certificates, import, download my admin, that admin p12 file, ATAC, ATAC. Okay, and this will allow. Me might need to, yeah, select the certificate, and this will allow me to get back into my tax server. Okay, so we have access to the tax. I'm, I'm literally looking on the War Dragon now and using its browser to view the tax server just for the purposes of this uh, video, just so we can see. Since I'm not going to have time to get the ATAC device up and running. But what we need here is, uh, well, let's see, we need, we're going to need to install ADSB COT, uh, PyTAC, and AirCOT. And I can just cheat here and copy paste, although in the War Dragon, I'm going to start putting these deb packages already installed. Now the ADSB cot uh, can be a service. I just don't have it enabled because I don't want it running all the time. And from here, we just need to Okay, from here we just need to configure our ADSB 
uh, or yeah, ADSB or yeah, we just need to configure our ADSB cot.ini file. Basically, just make a config file. I'll just do it uh, right in the War Dragon uh, directory here. You can do it in your home directory wherever you want, and we're going to whatever you're comfortable using to edit. Now you can read all about um, some of the uh, configuration options both on the ADSB COT as well as the PyTech site here which goes into quite a bit more detail. Uh, actually I'm not even on the right one, sorry. Here's the PyTech where you can start getting your TLS information and other settings that we're going to need to set. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an entry here, ADSB cut. And we're going to add our um, PyTech TLS entries. Uh, I'll put the don't uh, verify because I'm not using, you know, the host names and, and you know other other things here that would uh, that would uh, prevent you from needing to do this but so don't check host name oops uh, we need to specify where our client is so let's see uh, matter of fact just to be safe and to make sure I've got the right files we'll go back one more time 8000 and I know I had had the user one file in there but um, Let's just, uh, we'll grab our, we'll do user2 this time, user2 pem, user2 p12. I've got those both in my download directory. We can stop sharing that for now. And so what we're going to do is we're going to specify where the cert file is at. So home, dragon, just make sure where I'm at here. War Dragon Tax Server, I think it. No, 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 no. Let me think, let me think, let me think. No, we're just going to go Home Dragon Downloads. And because we literally just put it right in our downloads there, because we pulled it over. Tech TLS client underscore key home dragon oops download slash uh, user two dot key we'll do our cot URL is going to be TLS see so we're going to send from here to 10.0.0.3 port 80.89 hopefully that is reachable and we'll do our feed underscore URL this is going to be HTTP because we're going to run this right on the War Dragon local host 80.78 uh, data aircraft dot JSON and then whatever we'll do a pull inter interval of um, I don't know, five five seconds there so all right let's see what we get here so we need a terminal open in our user source flight Where 
is my flight view GUI. Ah, it's because I was not on the War Dragon. It's uh, it gets difficult when I name everything the same, Dragon Dragon. So change directory user source flight view GUI, just like we did the other day. Sudo Python 3 flight view GUI. We start our uh, ADSB service on the War Dragon and start our 1090 service there. That 8078 should give us our aircraft that we're seeing there. Now, what we want to do is we want to run our ADS, ADSB cot. Let's see. And, uh, and so there is, if you wanted to do PIM, well, if you wanted to send the information. Actually, I need to back up. I have to read that again. The Pi Mode S, I'm not too concerned about it because of how I'm doing this right now. If you wanted some other features, then we would have to install via PIP, and that get, I would suggest going and using a virtual environment. I'm just keeping it simple and sticking to the um, dev packages for the purposes of this video and what I'm trying to accomplish. But ADSB cot C, and let's see what we get here. So, uh, uh, let's see, I, I think that was actually with a capital S, if I'm not mistaken. Home Dragon downloads. User to pem and key. Ah, I grabbed the wrong, grabbed the wrong things from our let's serve this back up and we need the user to key that's where I messed up okay user user to pem and user to key okay now we should be in business. So ADSB cot telling it to use that config file. Enter pem passphrase. So ATAC ATAC. But I'm gonna have to look into how maybe there's another variable that would pass that through so I don't have to sit here and enter enter that. Um I'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll address that in the next video. But what should be happening here is we should be, just like it's saying, we're retrieving the aircraft from the TAR-1090 instance, if you remember, that's running over here. And now, if we look at our web tech, uh, yeah, sure. And let me think, let me think. Um, so we get a, we get a connection here. And what do we got? Bam. We got our aircraft popping up on the TAC server here as expected. Uh, now, you probably can see, you know, more details if you click on it. And I imagine there's more, you know, information uh, down in there. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't want to remove it, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah. So I know that was like pretty, pretty quick there. The interval will be every whatever, you know, we set. Uh, but my intent there was to show how to take from the uh, TAR 1090 and get it into the tax server. Uh, if there's anything I missed or if it's a little too fast, let me know in the uh, in the comments in the description I'll touch on it a little bit more when I get time to go and probably show the uh, what am I trying to say the Android tablet or phone how to do the configuration there but once you get it into the tax server now 
any clients that you have um, should work with iPhone as well, iTac, ATAC. Now you will be getting that information on your um, on your map, uh, on your uh, what do they call it, your your end device or whatever it may be. Okay, so just to recap, watch the previous video. You'll see how to get the tax server up and running. You'll see how to get the particular fork of Flight View GUI going. I mean, you can still use an RTL SDR and the normal branch and videos that I've shown in the past. Obviously, you're basically just needing to get TAR 1090 to run. And then you're installing those three packages. Um, I'll put uh, links in the description that take you to that ADSB COT uh, GitHub page, the PyTAC. There's obviously additional variables that could be read there. Really, it was just a matter of getting those packages installed and the config file config uh, configured correctly. And um, let me think. Anything else? Oh, and getting the correct certs off of the tax server, which you saw. I just spun up a quick web page to get that information over onto my um, War Dragon in this case for setup. Yeah, and that's pretty much all we did. Uh, from here, it's just a matter of configuring uh, our uh, ATAC, ITAC devices.